The exploration of hyperdimensionality as proposed by physicist Dr. Michael Pryker offers a fascinating viewpoint on con consciousness, reality, and the potential for dimensions beyond our familiar spatial and temporal experience. Pryker's work bridges the realms of science and spirituality, suggesting that human consciousness may originate not solely from brain activity, but from hidden dimensions within the universe. This concept opens a pathway to understanding how consciousness could transcend the physical world, revealing deeper levels of existence and meaning. Pryker's theory revolves around the idea that our universe extends beyond the three spatial dimensions and time that most people experience. He introduces the notion of hyperdimensionality, a framework that suggests the universe may contain additional unseen dimensions. These hidden dimensions, if they exist, would radically alter our understanding of reality and potentially accommodate entities or states of consciousness that are unbound by the limitations of space and time. This concept finds an intriguing parallel in Pryker's interpretation of biblical accounts, particularly regarding Jesus, whom he views as a potential hyperdimensional being. In Pryker's view, descriptions of Jesus' resurrection and ascension might hint at abilities achievable only by entities operating in higher dimensions. For example, traditional accounts describe Jesus as ascending to heaven 40 days after resurrection, which Pryker interprets as a transition into an elevated, possibly infinite dimensional space. Such a transition, he argues, would be nearly impossible within a solely four-dimensional framework, suggesting that beings with hyperdimensional capabilities could theoretically move across realities seamlessly. In demonstrating the limitations of our perception, Pryker uses an analogy involving two-dimensional entities. Imagine a flat, comic strip-like world where beings can only perceive length and width. When a three-dimensional sphere intersects this plane, it first appears as a dot, then expands into a circle, and finally contracts back to a point before disappearing. Uh, this example illustrates how limited dimensions can restrict one's comprehension of higher dimensional forms. Similarly, Pryker suggests humans may experience the universe as bounded by four dimensions, simply because we lack the perception to see beyond. Beyond his theological speculations, Pryker is deeply rooted in the scientific exploration of matter under extreme conditions, including high-pressure physics, X-ray spectroscopy, and nuclear magnetic resonance. His work in these fields supports his belief that physical structures and forces could behave in unique ways under the influence of higher dimensions. Through his scientific research, Pryker explores how hyperdimensional perspectives might explain certain mysteries in physics, such as the nature of gravity and the phenomenon of curved spacetime. The theory of hyperdimensionality is particularly intriguing when considered alongside modern physics concepts like string theory. String theory proposes that all fundamental elements of the universe, from particles to forces, are made up of tiny vibrating strings. These strings oscillate at different frequencies within hidden dimensions, and their unique vibrations produce the various particles and forces observed in our universe. In this context, Pryker sees a link between hyperdimensionality and string theory, suggesting that both offer insights into the foundational structure of reality. According to Pryker, string theory's complex vibrational structures within concealed dimensions could hold the key to understanding our universe's underlying nature. Curved space-time, an idea central to Einstein's theory of relativity, also plays a role in Pryker's thoughts. The warping of space-time around massive objects like stars or planets generates gravity, a force felt in the three-dimensional world. Pryker suggests that this curvature may actually be influenced by forces originating in a higher dimension, adding another layer to our understanding of gravity and space-time. If true, this would imply that the gravitational force we experience is a shadow of higher dimensional interactions. Yet, Pryker's views do not go unchallenged. Many in the scientific community view his ideas as speculative extensions that tread the boundary between scientific theory and metaphysical inquiry. Some physicists argue that his interpretations lack concrete evidence and venture too far from testable science. For instance, Professor Stephen Haller of Fordham University questions the grounding of Pryker's theories. He argues that attributing the unknowns of science to divine or hyperdimensional interventions could undermine the spirit of scientific inquiry 
by accepting mystical explanations prematurely. According to Haller, acknowledging uncertainty is an essential part of scientific progress, providing opportunities for discovery rather than closing doors with speculative answers. Haller's critique draws parallels with historical scientific missteps, such as the geocentric model of the universe, which placed Earth at the center of all celestial movements. To reconcile the observations of planetary motions, early astronomers introduced complex systems of epicycles. Only when the heliocentric model was adopted, positioning the sun at the center, did our understanding simplify and align with reality. Haller warns that without evidence, theories like hyperdimensionality risk complicating scientific understanding, much like epicycles once did. In addition, current technology presents significant challenges to verifying the existence of higher dimensions. Even the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, which collides particles at high speeds to probe the building blocks of matter, cannot directly access or test for high-dimensional strings theorized in quantum physics. Haller underscores this point by emphasizing that even the most advanced particle accelerators cannot provide proof of higher dimensions, highlighting the limitations of empirical evidence in this field. Despite the skepticism, Pryker remains hopeful. He believes that future advancements in technology, possibly within the lifetime of the next generation, will reach the energy levels required to probe these hidden dimensions. His optimism reflects a broader vision that science and technology will eventually enable humanity to access higher dimensional realms and provide insights into hyperdimensionality. For Pryker, the quest to explore hyperdimensionality represents more than scientific curiosity. It offers a purpose that transcends the material universe, fostering a sense of spiritual and intellectual wonder. The debate between Pryker and his critics underscores the complex relationship between scientific innovation and philosophical speculation. In contrast to his peers, Pryker argues that exploring hyperdimensionality brings humanity closer to understanding its place in the cosmos, blending elements of science, spirituality, and the philosophical pursuit of truth. This interplay invites scientists, thinkers, and the general public to consider the broader implications of their search for knowledge, which may reveal realities previously unimagined. A central aspect of Pryker's view is his belief in the human mind's ability to connect with these higher dimensions. He posits that through practices like artistic creativity, scientific inquiry, philosophical reflection, and even dreaming, human consciousness can transcend the tangible world and engage with hyperdimensional planes. This connection with elevated dimensions, Pryker suggests, might be the source of our creativity, intuition, and profound insights. He views consciousness not as a byproduct of brain processes, but as a unique link to higher dimensional planes that fuels inspiration and intellectual breakthroughs. This idea resonates with advanced physical theories, which propose that consciousness may have a basis beyond mere physical interactions in the brain. If consciousness is indeed linked to higher dimensions, this could explain phenomena that elude conventional explanations, such as sudden bursts of creativity, intuitive understanding, or transcendent experiences. In Pryker's view, these moments may represent glimpses of hyperdimensional insights, connecting the human mind with universal truths that lie beyond immediate perception. Interestingly, this framework also aligns with ancient and spiritual philosophies. Hindu cosmology, for instance, considers consciousness as a continuum with different layers and levels that reach beyond the physical world. From this perspective, consciousness can tap into realms beyond ordinary perception, allowing individuals to access wisdom and insight from deeper layers of reality. Similarly, ancient Greek philosophers, including Plato, suggested that higher forms of knowledge could be attained by transcending the limitations of the senses. While these ideas remain speculative within the scientific community, they open doors to questions that bridge scientific inquiry with the mysteries of existence. If consciousness indeed operates across dimensions, it challenges the materialist view that the brain is solely responsible for awareness and thought. Instead, it would mean that the human mind is both an observer and participant in a larger multi-dimensional universe. In conclusion, the discourse on hyperdimensionality and consciousness as proposed by Dr. Michael Pryker emphasizes the boundary-pushing nature of scientific exploration. 
By suggesting that consciousness originates from hidden dimensions, Pryker challenges both scientific and philosophical norms, offering a fresh perspective that resonates with spiritual teachings and modern theoretical physics. His optimism for future technological advancements reflects a hopeful outlook on the potential to discover higher dimensions within our lifetime. While skeptics argue that his theories lack empirical support, Pryker's ideas continue to spark conversation and encourage interdisciplinary dialogue. Ultimately, whether hyperdimensionality will find empirical validation remains to be seen. However, the dialogue it generates is invaluable. This theory pushes the scientific community to explore beyond the confines of traditional thought, questioning the very nature of reality and consciousness. By blending imagination with evidence, Pryker's vision represents a hopeful pursuit of knowledge, inspiring scientists, thinkers, and seekers alike to contemplate possibilities that stretch far beyond our current understanding. In this light, Pryker's theories on hyperdimensionality serve as a reminder of humanity's unyielding curiosity and the endless journey toward truth and understanding, a journey that may one day reveal dimensions yet uncharted.